Part of the beauty of the H2, the Zoom recording device, or any small uh, recording device, is that you can put it in your pocket, use an external mic like this handheld um, ATR55 is what I'm using, the 6550 uh, current model number. You'll find that on my site. But uh, using a device like this, I can walk around. I'm not tied to the camera. I can, I can turn around in circles. Uh, I can go around and interview people. You gotta throw the mic in, in front of someone, let them speak, back and forth. They still do this on television. They do it for a reason, because it works. Now I'm going to flip the switch and go into tele mode. Right here, we'll see how uh, the super cardioid uh, works, if it's any better with the background noise. I've got wind blowing. I've got traffic coming by. I've got a guy blowing leaves over here at the park. So uh, there's a lot of background noise going on should still be able to uh, get a good uh, audio of someone's voice. Let's see how it looks. Okay, now I've changed things around a little bit. I've plugged the mic directly into my ZI8 external mic jack. So I've got the mic going right into the camera. The thing that I don't like about this is it ties me to the distance of the cord. So you either need a very long cord and also, I think maybe the audio is better when it's recorded on the Zoom. We'll see though, we'll know soon. I'm gonna change the settings now. Into normal mode. I've gone from tele to normal. This is uh, the only difference. I'm still plugged into the camera. I've got noise coming from overhead. Got a helicopter, street traffic, got a wind going, got leaf blowers in the background. Still, this is going to give us a, a good quality sound when you're talking or interviewing out in the streets. Just to give you some perspective, I'm now uh, on the handheld talking on the built-in mic. See how that works with this uh, ZI-8. I have here my trusty lavalier, which has a five-foot cable. This is one of my favorite devices. It comes from Giant Squid Audio. It's handmade. Guy up in Michigan. I tell you, uh, this is the magic. So we're going to plug this in, see how that sounds. Okay, now I've got the lav on my shirt, and I'm tied to the camera. I've only got five feet of cable, so I have to stay pretty close to the lens. As tall as I am, I might be out of the frame. Maybe I'll have to squat down a little bit like a normal person. <laughs> Let's try this, and now I'm going to move the same mic, put it into the, the Zoom H2 recorder. Uh, this recorder I carry around in my pocket works very well. It does have a, an external mic jack. Once I plug it in, it's going from there. So when I snap my fingers, I'm going to be moving from the camera audio to the Zoom. Okay, here I am now recording on the Zoom. And if you have a Zoom and you know the settings, I'm on uh, my volume's on 115. I'm on the highest gain level. So that's where it's set. Uh, 127 is the maximum volume. I'm not quite at the max and I have the uh, lavalier pinned on. I can still turn around, walk away from the camera, record good sound, but this lav has no uh, windscreen and I might be picking up some wind noise or some background noise. We're going to see how it compares with the handheld shotgun mic. 